Hello everyone, Ladislas Maurice from TheWanderingInvestor.com. So today I'm with Laszlo here in beautiful Budapest and we're going to be discussing the Hungarian Residency by Investment Program. Laszlo, how are you? Very good, thank you. Sun is shining, it's summer, everything looks good. Yeah, Budapest in summer is absolutely amazing. So there's a very little known residency by investment program in the European Union, and that is Hungary. You probably have not heard of it because it's not being marketed anywhere really, but Laszlo has been helping people go through the program for a number of years. So can you tell us about the program and how it works? Yes, definitely. As a beginning, let me state that Hungary had a fixed residency bond program, but we are not, not talking about that. That has been suspended in 2017, so that this is a totally different beast. Um, the main reason why Hungary decided to, to, to offer these two investors is that the program requires income gener purchase of income generating properties. Meaning that especially one of the additional rules that it has to go through a company, a Hungarian registered company. That means that the authorities would be able to see the balance sheet, the financial statements of the companies, how much income they were generating. So everything is clear to the authorities. There is no real need to convince them that the company is working because it, they can look at the financial statement. Also, that gives a safety that at least a little bit of money, a little bit of tax is paid to the government, which is an important consideration. Also, if the, even the directors are employed, um, our directors are usually the main applicants. They are, they are the, this is the base where they could get the residency permit. They have to pay themselves a little salary and then they have to pay also a small social security contribution, meaning that again the government has to pay that at least somebody is putting down something onto the table in a very easily verifiable way. So income generating property through a company, this is how it works. The amount, which is usually a question of how much needs to be invested, is 180,000 euros. With the property prices, as uh, we could have seen from your previous videos, uh, in the inner city of Budapest, they went down by 30, 35%. I do not see a huge increase in the near future, so maybe this could be a time where also to buy a property. And then the ad additional advantage is to get the residency permit uh, for the whole family later on. Okay. Fantastic, very, very interesting. So essentially, it can be any business that you create or buying property through that company. If there is a property, then the income and everything is verifiable. Mm. So when the, when the application starts, if there is no, no specifics behind it, just promises through a business plan, usually then you could promise anything and, 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 and everything. And therefore, the immigration authorities do not really like this because then they can verify two or three, three years later whether what the, what the applicant said is true or not and what was the real intention or maybe just the whole world change in the meantime. But if somebody buys a property through a company and they, 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 they lease that property, then it is a very straightforward transaction. Not okay. promises. Um, the, uh, the, there should be a, a pre-approved uh, property purchase agreement also enclosed. Mm -hmm. with the application, which also shows the intention, the real and true intention of the investor that yes, they are serious. Okay. But if the residency permit is for whatever reason is not granted, then they can break this agreement and they can put back the property. So you could structure it the way that your cash layout or cash risk is not really a lot of money. Okay, fantastic. And the corporate income tax rate in Hungary is 9%. Yes, 9% flat for every company meaning that if somebody wants to include additional activities in the company, not just the purchase of the property and, 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 and using that, then uh, I think that, yes, not many people know that Hungary has this kind of low income, uh, person, sorry, corporate tax income rate. And therefore, when, for example, comparisons are made, Ireland, well, yeah, Microsoft, every big multinational is using it as a tax haven. Cyprus, oh, everybody knows about it. But Hungary, nobody, nobody at the end, even in the professional professional circus, consider Hungary as a tax haven or a, or, a, or a good jurisdiction for tax money. But definitely it is. No withholding taxes on outgoing dividends, royalties, interest. So at the end, I understand that I'm Hungarian, so I'm slightly biased. 
But if professionally we have this kind of conversation with anybody, they are just surprised that, yeah, the system is so good. Yes, it is, it is really so good. So you could use the company for other business activities with no problem whatsoever. So, yeah, th this is really attractive. So essentially you can come to Hungary, you invest approximately 180,000 euros into local property, you structure it in a local company, this gives you a visa so you can travel around the European Union without any problems. Correct. And at the same time, you can use this company with a 9% tax rate to do whatever else, whatever other business you're involved in. That is completely true. Obviously, there is a slight disadvantage that you have to keep the books of the company in order. The times where you were able to use a company for whatever activities with no real accounting and so on and so on are over. Yeah. When you want to renew the residency permit, it has to be in order, that's number one. Number two, that tax compliance is, is really strong and therefore it's just better. I mean, why would you want to play when you have to pay only 9% corporate tax? I mean, it doesn't make sense. You book everything, everything is done, you pay the 9% and then yeah. you are very happy. That's 100%. my opinion that it is really worthwhile. There are statistics that they, they put usually the, 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 the level, the threshold at 20%. So below 20%, if the tax has a, taxes are below 20%, then people are happy to pay. If it's above 20%, yeah. now they start playing games. Cool. In Hungary, that is definitely not the case. Yeah, yeah for 9%, it's not <laughs> worth playing any games. That is for True. sure. So there are other golden visa programs. I mean, this is not really a golden visa. It's residency by investment. But there, there's Greece, Portugal, Spain, where it's possible if you make a real estate investment to get, a, to get residency. So why Hungary? Why not these other countries? What's Hungary's competitive advantage compared to these other markets? I would say that uh, quality of life, although every country claims that the quality of life is yeah. excellent and excellent and excellent. But I really, uh, let's say that, that I urge everybody just to come for two or three days, look around and then, fair enough, culturally, I mean, we have a long history. So at the end, this is a very improving country. We are not facing really any kind of economic crisis or what, for example, Greece had to do. The budget deficit is still much, much lower and the, and, the, and the government debt is much, much lower than in Portugal. So later on, probably uh, Hungary would survive uh, more easily and wouldn't suffer that much as if something comes again, like in 2008 and 9. That's my opinion and maybe I'm wrong, obviously, and I love my country. But really the, the, the impression of people who just came and looked around architecturally, business-wise, in many, many aspects of, of, of life, they were very satisfied. And okay, if you want, if you are thinking about the second residency, this is definitely a good choice. Don't forget also that, okay, in, in all times before COVID, we had, for example, I think 34 flights a day to London because the, one of the largest um, European uh, low-cost airlines, Vizel, is based in Hungary, yeah. meaning that we have a huge number of very, very low-cost flights. So easiness yeah. of travel for tourist purposes to wherever in the Schengen zone or for business purposes, it is also a convenient uh, place to do business. 100%. 100%. I completely agree with Laszlo. When you're here in Hungary, you are two hours away from London, two hours away from Istanbul, a bit over two hours away from Moscow. Go. You're really at the center of Europe. It's also a very business friendly place, unlike Spain, unlike Greece, unlike in many respects, Portugal as well. And the whole fiscal situation is a lot more solid as well. So long term, I also believe that it's a better bet. And buying real estate here, if that's how you would want to to obtain the, the residency visa, it offers good value. So right now I did quite a bit of content on this. The yields are quite compressed, but the overall value that you get for the amount of money you invest is quite phenomenal for an EU capital with such, I mean, beautiful, <laughs> beautiful architecture. I mean, this is what you wake up to every day here in, in Hungary. Also, you don't necessarily have to fly around to enjoy Hungary. You can just drive to Vienna two and a half hours away. Yes. Cycling is absolutely amazing. So Hungary is a very flat country. So there are cycling paths all over the country. This is standard weather from April till mid-October, just like sunshine every day. Hungary has a microclimate. I absolutely love coming to Hungary. I come here on a very regular basis. Also, we have the largest uh, 
Sweetwater Lake in Europe. Yes, Lake Balaton. But it's a, it's a bit overpriced, I find. But I'd, I'd rather go to Croatia four hours away. <laughs> <laughs> no, we could debate about that. <laughs> okay. So, Laszlo, how can you help people obtain this residency by investment here in Hungary? We have, uh, I think, a kind of a competitive advantage that we also provide corporate services and individual and corporate tax services. So it's not just the choosing of the property and then leaving the poor client to alone, trying to find a, a suitable accountant with tax returns and everything, but we could really give a full service if somebody is interested. Company formation, property choice, uh, the, the residency permit, renewal of the residency permit, annual reports, uh, bank account opening and so on and so on. So I, I think we are quite good in, of, in what we are offering to, to, the, to the interested parties. And then it is going quite well because business is, the, business is, is going well. This coronavirus obviously didn't have matters too much, but then we expect that at the end of the year now things would stabilize in a sense that nearly everything would return to the, to the old system and we could continue doing business the way we did before. Cool, fantastic, great. So if you want to get in touch with Laszlo directly, there's a link below with more details on the Hungarian Residency by Investment Program and also Laszlo's email right below in the description. Thank you. Laszlo, thank you very much for your time. Always appreciate it. It is always. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.